Hello, Leslie. All right, really quickly, just want to go over your Facebook page and give you any tips and feedback to hopefully help you get in more customers. As first looks like your business has been around for two or three years now, and you've made some steady progress. You already got over 500 likes, so way to go. I don't see any website, so that's one area you could improve, I guess. Let's see. I also don't see right off the bat where you're located at. That's something really, really important to have in both the bio here, as well as if you can have an address uh, that helps people find you a lot easier when they're searching on Facebook for cleaning services. Um, let's see if I can figure out where you're located at. United States. Yep, it's not, not really clear where you're located. Um, so I'll go on to the next thing. So when I search your company's name, if you have a Google business listing, you should show up right here, which it looks like you did. 270231. Let's make sure that's the right one. Oh, it's not. Oh, darn. Looks like somebody else has the same business name as you. Um, potentially, I might be able to find it by searching phone number. where you are. You're in Florida, huh? So, let's try again with less, less mass LLC. I'm trying to make sure to see if you have a Google business listing. Nope, it doesn't look like you do. Alright, so let me teach you what to do. So you go to google.com slash business. You're going to sign in with the whatever email account you want to use. Uh, I do the Gmail account. And then it's going to go through a prompt of multiple questions. So the first question you're going to have to ask is your business name. Uh, then you're going to add your phone number, your website if you have one, uh, which right now you don't, um, your address. You can just use your home address and then hide the address later on after you get the postcard. Um, you're going to need to write a business description. And, and inside of the description, you want to include multiple keywords. So, for example, if you work in Tampa, Florida, I don't know what part of Florida you are, but for example, Tampa, Florida, you want to include the keywords Things like cleaning service, Tampa, Florida, best cleaning company, Tampa, uh, new construction, clean out, or post-construction clean, cleaning, Tampa, Florida. Whatever your services are, plus the word Tampa, Florida, uh, or whatever the area location is, you want to have that multiple times in the GMB, such as in the description uh, of, the GM, of the business, as well as uh, in, in the names of photos. Let me show you what I mean. So, cleaning services... Yeah, let's do Miami, why not? So the first thing that shows up is these Google ads, but not everybody clicks on the ads. A lot of them go here to the maps. So that's what the Google business listing does, is it allows you to have a spot in Google Maps, which is where a lot of people go to when they're looking for services. Uh, so in order to rank in the top spots, you're going to want to have more photos than everybody else. At least start with 30 of them. So try to make them square before and after your photos that work really well for this type of business. Before you upload the photos, name them as the keywords I was talking about earlier. Um, the other thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have the right categories. Uh, so we'll notice all of these are listed as house cleaning service. There's multiple categories you can be listed under. House cleaning service is probably the main category you want to have. Uh, also, you can have there's one called commercial cleaning service, cleaners, and cleaning service. So list all four of those categories as your business. You can have one primary category and three subcategories. Um, that will allow you to be found on Google for those different services. Um, the next step in ranking is to get lots of reviews. Uh, it's pretty easy to get reviews. All you do is click on this write a review link and then copy the link and then you can text, shorten it. Uh, go to bit.ly.com and shorten the link and then text it to all of your friends and family or anybody who's worked with you in the past um, for home cleaning. And the more reviews you have, the better you're going to rank. Uh, the other thing that goes into ranking is getting something called citations. So what a citation is, is it's a profile for your business on these types of directories. Things like Yellow Pages, BB, Home Advisor, Yelp, Yahoo, etc. Um, these are all the suggested ones for cleaning companies. The more citations you have, the more credible your business seems to Google and the higher you're going to rank in the maps. Uh, the other suggestion I have for you is to create a website. Uh, you can do a free website with Google My Business. 
Um, it's a really, really simple one. You just upload some photos and then write a little bit of content and they format it for you. Uh, if you don't have a budget, if you do have a budget and you want to rank, you can build an SEO optimized website like these. And then you can capture additional traffic and leads from both the map and the organic traffic. Um, that's what I suggest doing if you're making this business a career for long term, because then once you're ranking uh, both your business listing and the website, uh, then you'll have a consistent flow of leads for the rest of your business's life, which is what you want. Uh, other suggestions, you can always make, you know, marketplace posts for cleaning services. Um, and that, that's another good way to get leads in the short term, uh, anytime you're low. And yeah, uh, let me know if you have any other questions or if you need help setting up a website or have other questions about the Google business listing, I'd be happy to answer them for you. Thanks.